I do. Um, I really have come to prefer uh, the edible effect. And I forgot that, you know, it's like when you, when you eat weed, like it turns into a different chemical in your liver or whatever. Um, and that, and it is more psychedelic. I, I like it for floating and uh, meditating and stuff like that. Obviously I don't take a hundred milligrams to do that. Um, but, uh, I, w- I will say like my last, uh, uh, batch of weed, I decided, uh, like I usually buy like a quarter at a time and, you know, I don't smoke too much, so it, it, it lasts quite a while, but, uh, um, I decided to like, I was going to make, you know, butter or edibles and I decided that, uh, you know, I read some article about making uh, capsules, you know, with coconut oil and, and, um, you know, you can make them pretty potent if you, lo- if you use less, uh, um, uh, oil than you would normally to make butter to, to put in brownies or chocolate or anything like that. So, uh, I decided to get a half and then I was going to, you know, have a quarter to smoke and a quarter I was going to make this oil with. And so, um, and Actually, uh, maybe we'll put the link to this recipe because it's awesome and I'm going to do it like every time I buy weed now. Um, yeah. But uh, the key ingredient, and I've never bought this stuff to use it, and I, I forgot what it does, but I mean, it's, it's you know, some sort of fat that, that binds to THC. And when you are making the butter, it, uh, it pulls more THC out of the, the, the weed. Uh, it's soy lecithin. And you combine that with the, uh, the coconut oil. And then um, simmer, you know, ground up weed in there. And you have to also uh, decarboxylate the weed in in your oven first at a low temperature for like an hour and a half, which makes your house reek like weed. But (laughs) but it's worth it um, because that also like uh, it it makes more THC available uh, to be soaked up by the the fats that you're going to mix it with. And um, and then take that strain out the weed. And then I took, uh, well, an actual, uh, a, a spent, uh, mushroom spore syringe I had, and I filled up, you know, the same way I fill up like capsules for uh kratom or, or anything. Um, you know, I have this little like capsule machine that it puts like 50 at a time and you can fill them. And, uh, I used that needle and filled up the capsules and then just capped them and put them in the fridge to solidify it. And, oh, I also put, um, a whole gram of, uh, CBD in with the, uh, the oil and mixed it up before I filled the capsules. Wow. I think that actually helps with like the, uh, I haven't taken too much of it. Like one cap is really good. Like it's, it's kind of like taking two hits of weed, you know, it's just like a good uplifting buzz. Hey man, you got to share this. This is, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll put the link when we, when we post the, 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 uh, the video on YouTube or whatever. Um, but, uh, um, I think the CBD, you know, helps, um, uh, if you did take a bunch of these pills and got to near a level you were at, I think the CBD kind of counteracts the like anxiety aspect, which can like make the nausea more and stuff. I, I don't think the ice cream helped your, your case, but, but, um, yeah, it yeah. might've been a mix of the fat ass amount of ice cream. And, but I, I want to say that my, my girlfriend also threw up and I don't think she had, yeah, I mean, you, you like I said, I haven't taken a hundred, like, I don't know. I don't know what the milligrams <laughs> are and what I made, but I know it's not a hundred. Uh, um, but, but, but it's no, good in, in, yeah. in that one pill, like you feel it. And then you're like, I can take another one. Oh, I can take another one. And it's, it, it's, it's a little easier to like dose your way up to being like, all right, I'm, I'm good in stone now, you know? Um, but I really like it. And it's like, uh, you know, for as stealthy as, uh, vaping, like a, a you know, a, a a cartridge kind of thing can be, I also don't like that. That's just THC. And then like, I don't know, I get, I get kind of like burnt out on the carts mm. and, um, you know, making this oil. I mean, it's obviously all the cannabinoids that are in the plant, um, gets, you know, sucked out by the fats. And so it's, it's really like a condensed edible in one little pill. Um, and I, I really like it. It's kind of like my thing now I'm going to, I'm going to Mexico in a couple of weeks and, uh, I'm, gonna take that on the plane with me and stuff so um yeah so i definitely oh, recommend yeah. for anyone uh to check out that link when we post it because it's uh it was a great recipe and it was a game changer for me with with weed really 